right guys, so it's sprinkling just a little bit and we are crossing the Tennessee River. No need to tell you where we're heading now. It's time for a family day and we are going to United Grocery Outlet. So I said I wasn't gonna come back for a while, but guess what? This time I spent a little bit more time with family and we didn't do anything last month. And I really didn't shop last month anywhere. So since we're here, we're gonna go in and see if we can find some amazing deals. Okay, so as I'm going inside, I want you to know this is a great place to stock up your pantry. But for me, this is where I go to get things that I normally would not be able to buy. Change carts, this one's so much better. Gravy's $1.29. They have detergent here. I wonder, it's tied. It's a big one, I don't see a price. Oh, there it is, $9.99. This looks very Easter-like. Eggs are 69 cents. That's at a discount. Has Easter even happened? I don't know, this is $5.99. Oh, but that's huge. Oh, here's a nice little treat. Munch mousse, they were $1.50. Now they're just $1. Top ramen noodles, $6 for a pack. Hormel chili beans, these have been here for a long time, still $1.79, and that's for the turkey. Here's a deal I didn't see in the ad, but you know what, honestly, we didn't even check. We just said, let's go, so we, decided to come. Okay, so I checked the date on these. Look at that, this is June 23, no, April. So that's plenty of time. For a dollar, that's good. I don't think I want the cheese. I think they have onions somewhere. Oh, here we are. I think I can afford about three of these. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I took a second check. Look at that, I'd have been very upset. That's still Fiesta Ranch. I didn't want to be here we go. French onion. Oh, yeah. Three pound bags of Empire apples, $2.99. Squash, $1.29 a pound. I don't see a scale anywhere. This is one of the sections that I really like trying out because there are sauces and things that I don't know how to make or that takes a lot of time to make, but they're inexpensive. I just like really having them. I have barbecue sauce, but that's a fancy barbecue sauce, $1.99. Classic ranch dressing is only $1.49, but they're all fat free. Okay, so I was gonna check out the two pack of peanut butter like they have at Samson Costco. That was like $10.98 or $11.98, which was a little more than there. They don't have those anymore, but they do have these of Skippy. And they're $5.99 each. So two would be $12. I'm not sure what the price is at Samson Costco, but I think it's still just like a dollar less than that. I don't know how many of you saw my last video, but I am so glad I purchased these when I did because the price has gone back up. They're 69 cents per can for the Chipotle peppers and the green chilies. I got them three for a dollar. They're a dollar again. They have weekly specials on their meat. I do love their Tuesday specials. I can never make it on a Tuesday. But this pack, uh, what do they actually call them? Boneless ribeye steaks cut thin, $17. 55 cents. All oh, their meat, like I said, always looks so incredibly good. $23.73 for these huge steaks. I'm still looking for a London broil. Boneless top round, $10.71. Oh, these look amazing. These look amazing. These might go home with me. $4.39 a pound for boneless chuck roast twin pack. Twin pack. Um not believe it I found my beef tenderloin yay oh my goodness $32 which is $32 33 because two okay there's only two packs left I'm going to walk around the store if I come back and it's still here I'll get one if it's not it wasn't meant to be okay I am off to find my family we've been here for about 10 feet up oh, found them heading that way now see what they're looking at must be a good deal because they pulled over and they're unloaded. They're they're getting stuff. Wow. You know what? How's it going? It's going good. How's it going for you? Oh my goodness, what? Yeah, so this is a really good deal. How much are those? 50 cents a piece. No way. Yes. At Walmart, they usually like two fifty a piece. Yes. Of course, I got the chili. You got three more pieces yes. of that. And then I'm going to try these. Pistachios. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Where are the pistachios? I saw you. Is that what you were looking at? Yes. yes. There. For... There's a price in the box. How much? I can't read it. $5.99, I believe. 
Okay. Well, then you know I can't see. Yay. They don't have your cashews, do they? Sorry. All right, so we're off to find Mommy. See what she's found. Does she have anything? Oh, she does have some stuff in her cart. Let's see. Found you, Mommy. How's it going? Oh, you got some, what? Really? Okay, so I might need to go back and readjust. This is really good. Yeah. And the rolls. Oh. Y'all tried those last time. Were they good? Yeah, I like them. Matter of fact, I'm looking forward to them this time. I don't know how that one looks. That one looks how I wanted some stuff. I got them. There you go. Somebody else with. Want some? Yeah, sure. That's good. He's buying stuff in cases. Let me go see what he's checking out. Something over here and the nutrition of planners five dollars for 18 pack and so he's gonna get the case how many packs are in there three and 4.99 what yeah, shut the up oh my goodness it is it's 4.99 for the case oh my goodness oh that's amazing okay i'm gonna i'm gonna get some too i'm prepared to shop but this is so good each pack has 18 1.5 ounce bags in it. Okay, quick voiceover. I opened a box at home and then I scanned the entire box. There are three cases of these, an 18 in each one. At Walmart, they're $38.12. Oh yeah, we got a great deal. I did get distracted. I got distracted. I think I was going to show you guys the detergent, but yeah, I'm off track. Let me head back. Now these feel pretty good. They look like they're chocolate. They are they almost look like uh, Three Musketeers. Nougat and Cocoa Creamy Nougat Bars, $1 per pack. So what? I can't hear you, but um, let's see. I have the lavender and the orange, not even the lemon. What to do, what to do? They're still a dollar nineteen. Okay, they're not my favorite, but they work very well. Okay, so I think I'm getting get 10 of these like I said they do work really really well and you know sometimes we just get a little bougie on certain things I love my Dawn apple it doesn't have to smell like apple I just need clean dishes so 10 at a dollar 19 that's 11.90 got to get on track my family they're acting like kids in candy stores and they're all over the place I kind of like going up one down one so let me start on the other side and go back through with you guys really excited about this mayo a dollar 99 for those but one dollar for the squeezable. I do lunch a lot. I'm going to pick up about three of these because I don't like taking the whole container. And sometimes I'm too lazy to take some out of the big container, put it in a small container, have it for lunch. So I'll just take one maybe and leave it in the refrigerator. But for a dollar, that's really good. Right now, the best buy date is still May. I know that's close because Miracle Whip is extremely high. And Somebody's already bought all the regular craft mayo. Jambalaya rice mix, $6.49. The ready cut pasta spaghetti, $1.49. This sign has my attention at sun dried tomato halves. Oh my goodness, $1.99. These used to be a Dollar Tree a long time ago. I'm, I'm picking up five of those. Pretty excited comes to ten dollars that's kind of how I budget like how much I get of what how much money I have makes a difference this might be a bright spot um most pastas have gone up in price and down in size these are a dollar 19 for the spirals the macaroni I think it's a dollar it's one dollar and it's still for the full pound elbow I know a lot of people like the rigatoni it's a dollar 19 but it's still for 16 ounces so if you're doing that, looking at that shrinkflation thing where it's a dollar for 12 ounces, I don't know. I just, full pounds, I'm used to those. Organic rice. I can't see how big this is. Long grain brown rice, $3.49. See, these are staples that you can stock up on here. The stuff in my cart, these aren't staples. These aren't things I have to have, but I have those things I have to have. So I'm so blessed and fortunate that I get to come and buy things that just make life fun. Be particular about the types of vegetables you get, the name brands or whatever. These are actually pretty good ones. And assorted vegetables are 79 cents. So when you look at Margaret Holmes at 79 cents, I think that's an amazing deal. 
guys, I was gonna say remind me when I get to the other side of the store for, to look for those number size tin cans, but uh, you're not here. But I'm gonna check the other side of the store and see if those number size tin cans of vegetables are still available. Large Campbell's tomato soup, three dollars and nineteen cents. Swanson's broths, seventy nine cents. Back over to the basics again. What is this? Buffalo beans. Oh, it's a serious bean, apparently. How much is serious beans? A dollar. Refried beans. We got these when they were on sale. Um, they're still two for a dollar, so that's not bad. But those are the kind with roasted chili and lime, which is still fine because you're going to spice them up anyway. So I'm surprised they have any left. Actually, oh my goodness, look how many they have left. It's a lot. I don't need any more. Okay, so I think I lied. I'm not really sure. But the last time I came here, I was like, no, the Bumble Bee Chicken Light at $9.99. I could get cheaper somewhere else for a 10 pack. Turns out I can't. It comes about the same. So if these haven't hit date or whatever, I do want some of these. Oh, no, these are in vegetable oil. That's why I need some of the fresh. I have tons in vegetable oil. I need some in fresh water. I was so incredibly glad I got a redo on the salsa ranchera last time I was here. They're still three for a dollar, but I have used so much of this stuff. I've used almost a case of it already. I just love cooking with it. Okay, perfect chili meal kit, which is beans. $3.99. Might be close to where they got the ranch. I think I'm near the spices. Let me go around. Okay, what are we going to do? It should be somewhere near here, he would think it would be. No, it's not gonna be that way. It is going to be this way. Let me go back and check. I'm now seeing all kinds of stuff that I don't have to have to have. I do need some powdered sugar. Well, I don't need it, but I would like to have another two bags. They're $2.99. That's probably a good deal I'm just gonna hold because I am on a budget. Let me just get out of this section and go get reinforcements. I need backup to find where they found those packets of ranch. I'm back over where he showed me the planters, but I'm looking at the cookies. Thin and crispy look really good, just $1.99. They have different varieties as well. They have the, somebody opened a pack to see what they look like. Huh. Oatmeal, nope, I would definitely do chocolate chip. $1.99 is really good. Small case or pack or whatever you call these. Peanuts, six dollars. Soda crackers. I heard these last a long time. I'm not really sure. Seven dollars and ninety-nine cents for a large can. I don't see any discount signs for the cereal, so I'm just going to check them out. So a large family size box is three dollars and ninety-nine cents at well for here for Frosted Flakes. I do know at Publix, Kellogg's right now is buy one get one free, and there's a one dollar off two coupon. I'm not sure if these are included. I think they are, but that we're bringing out just less than this. And you wouldn't have to worry about the date. Although this one is December 23, but there, I mean, you don't have to drive to a discount store. You can get the same deal or a better deal at Publix. Now, somebody, I need your help. I need to find the ranch packets. I've been down the seasoning aisle and I can't find them. Gotcha. Sure. That's okay. Did you find the bacon? Yes. It's still $2.99? You didn't see any for $1.99 at all? No. Okay, that's fine. No, that's okay. That's $6, okay. $3 worth, thank you. Okay, so we got some. Oh, he's checking out something. Did you check out the Cheez-Its, remember? I think it's the last of them. That's what I was looking for. Did you look for the host section? Yes. Did you look over in the corner to see if they have those large numbered size tin cans? Mm -hmm. I'm headed in that way. Oh, yeah, over there? Yes. yes they're they're there? Yeah. They're gone? The Nola Crunch is over there. Uh, okay. With my brother this is what i see the world going to like generic stuff like futuristic oreo blue i mean oreo cookies would notice be packaged like this anything you buy would just be like wrapped in some kind of foil these are 2.99 i think it's kind of cute but i can't you just see an entire store with those that's something i haven't seen this before gourmet hummus is here for a dollar 33. okay i think i can definitely check by this i'm not sure if my box of zero for checks was Family size or not, but there's $3.99. Mine came out to $1.95 per box after coupon at Publix, and they were buy one, get one free. So it's hit or miss, I think, with the deals on that. Also, it's the area. Guys, I noticed that some of you, like in the UK, your prices are extremely high on one things, and one thing, but extremely low on other things. So I think I, that's just crazy. I think it's logistically what you can get fairly inexpensive that dictates the price. I mean, I know that's not some new revelation, but it's just weird how that works though. 
that my box of cereal would cost six dollars and yours would cost four or that your carton of eggs would cost eight dollars and mine would cost six love the case deals because if i were a super crunch media person i could buy these they're four for a dollar if you just buy them individually or you know what you can just take a whole case of them for 25 dollars okay up and down the store can i take you back to a path okay so pork chops i remember once i came in they had a huge 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 pack kind of look like this with less oh my goodness it's so heavy so yeah, this pack is 11.35 but to me that looks like there's a lot of fat on that so i'm not sure if that's a good deal or not okay they don't look that great they don't look good at all they look really fatty and kind of oh mercy okay but they are a dollar 99 a pound this is 4.81 pounds so this package would be 9.57 it is very heavy and those are very thick chicken breast the first time i got one of these here and i was so excited because it was cheaper than just buying the pieces this is now $23. It's $2.99 a pound, but you buy that, go and slice it yourself. It's still going to come out cheaper than if you go to the deli and buy it. Their hams are, it's a 10 pound ham, so it's $31. Let's see how big that is. Guys, this is like a really large ham. I remember being a kid and I wanted to get some of these so bad because I would see people making sandwiches with them. And they got to slice their own meat, like as thicker as them as they wanted. I was like, oh my gosh, they must be like so rich. It's pretty cool they still have that. Townhouse Dippers Crackers, $2.39. Copia Syrup, $1.39 a bottle. Stove Top Stuffing, $1.29. Hand Sanitizer, four for a dollar. Nice section, let's see if they have any turkey bacon. No, last time we were looking at for that for my brother because he wanted some for his kid. And every time I come and I see it, I get the more packs. And I'm glad I do because a lot of times you come and it's just not here. No, this looks pretty good. Turkey cuts $1.29 dollar twenty-nine at six ounces. Dried beef a dollar. I know a lot of people that use this and say it's great for cooking in too. I'm not seeing any turkey bacon at all. great deal on the cornmeal bacon three dollars and 99 cents and it is for a full pound i don't think it's just all over sodium either i think they have different i can tell there's applewood oh they all say lower sodium but i mean really is that a bad thing 3.99 3.99 cornmeal natural and cured bacon 3.99 it is a huge package of dry salami a dollar 99 speaking of eggs so eggs now are two dollars and 79 cents and part of me wants to say oh my goodness yay they've come down but no i will never say that again especially when every easter eggs went to 50 cents and year round they were 99 cents their milk is half off i wonder why because it's march 13th and it's about to go it also looks pretty rough you think if you want to sell this you wipe it off just a little bit i mean i would buy for two dollars if it was clean you know what i mean because honestly i can't go through a gallon of milk in like three days make a phone call on this one silk almond milk is one dollar that's by date through april actually this one who drinks this i'm not sure that my family has seen this silk soy one dollar okay that's good that's through june let me go rally the troop and see if they want any of these okay if this were pie bacon season which is probably whether they're cheap right now look at this two crust two packs for $1.99. What is this? Filtered milk, $1.99. Beamer, $2.99. Okay, this has a plant-based look to it. It is meat-free burgers. One of these, I don't know, but the sausage is a $1. One so incredibly good. Huge potato wedges for $4.99. A two point, no, it's a five point bag. There's a good, the seasonings on them and they're roasting in the oven, amazing. Oh, and they have the spirals. Let's see if I can move this big bag without tearing it. Five pound bag, $9.99. I'm gonna lie, this is a really good deal for anything. These are twice baked potatoes. There's four potatoes in each one, meaning perhaps $4.99. Okay, so I got sidetracked. I just called the family over to look at this. And I read what it says. It says vanilla. I know he drinks vanilla almond. My mom drinks silk, but I just read the top and it says that's sweet. That might be a big deal breaker. I wonder if I should call them back or let them see it for themselves. 
guys, can you add sugar to that and make it taste okay? Or is it just, I don't know, it's a dollar. That's all I can think about. If it's good for a dollar and it's what you, I don't know. Don't waste a dollar if you're not gonna use it. I'll see what they say. Thinking about this the other day, the Parmesan cheese. Um, these are $2.49. Ooh, the Vita cheese slice is $2.99, that's good. There's the milk down here, guys. I'm not sure if that's it or not. I just went by and saw a red sticker and saw $1. Now I'm gonna notice something, look. Oh, there's cart number one. That look, cart looks pretty good. Hey, did you get a couple of the burgers? I saw a couple of burgers over there too. Yeah, I just got one, try it out just One of each? Yeah, yeah. just to try it out. Oh, they have Morningstar, that's good. Oh wait, what's this one? No way, they were here? $1.49. That's good, that's good. How much are these? Four. Okay, Four ninety nine. okay. I saw, look, I noticed these. Unsweet, unsweet. I'm sorry. Does that make a difference? Can you add sugar? It does? Okay. Mom? Okay, those two over the head, but this might be, these are $1, and they're the protein. What flavor is that? Is this strawberry? Oh my goodness, it is. It's the Nestle Quick Strawberry. Okay, it's not like the kid kind. They add protein powder, but okay. That one. Yay. That's all they had, too. Just the three. Oh, no, they're not. Looky dude. We're checking the date this time. Last time it was a weird date. And we had to like decode it. And Best Buy did on this is April 2023. And you know, it's a good past then. But for a dollar, when these normally cost like so much more in the store. They didn't want the milk, but they did get the protein shakes and mom did. Oh, these are so good. Are these on sale? A dollar ninety-nine. Oh my goodness. Brown sugar and cinnamon. I'm getting two of these because they're so expensive and I have bagels. Lots of craft cheese are $1.99 for eight ounces. Cottage cheese, I love cottage cheese with fruit, $1.29. Ooh, Rolos. Oh, these are like pudding cups. Definitely don't eat those, but $1.49 for a two cup. Welch's juices are all $1.00. Coffee beverages, these are good. These are expensive. Huh, just $1.99. This is more right bacon, but it is super, super thick at $7.99. I cannot tell if they have marked these down or if it's a smaller size. I showed you guys last video. This is 24 ounces, so it's two. Well, it's a pound and a half. For $2.99. I could have sworn I showed y'all one for $5. So, cute little snacks with like little three things in them. Oh, there's nothing healthy about that at all. Two for a dollar right now. This almost feels like dollar days here. Is that chorizo? That looks really good. Tried and cured, one dollar. I found turkey bacon for a dollar ninety-nine. Gotta call my brother. We did agree that this time, if one person saw something we thought the other person would like, we would say something because it's funny. Last time on the way home, we were talking about the stuff that we have, and it's like, where'd you find those? She's like, well, I talked about them was like the last time, whatever. Okay, so look, we're gonna go through this. I'll be back. Stop with this. Beef jerky is so expensive. Okay, turkey bites, not quite beef jerky, but how much are these per $1.29 for 2.25 ounces? If my kid was here, I'd be all over that, but as you guys know, he is in Australia. They went to Coles the other day. I actually got to kind of tour Coles or see Coles a little bit. He put me on FaceTime. I got to see that. I think it's so cool how grocery stores are so different. All right, fully cooked chicken wings. Five pounds, $12.99. Buffalo chicken wings, fully cooked, $12.99. I think my mother went straight by these and didn't see them. Oh no, these are Flanders. Now we like yams, but they're by a certain company. Those are so good. Like I said, I keep mine fresh through most of the year. So, but every now and then I do like to keep a pack of those, but those are a little bit high right now. Those are $3.39. Oh my goodness, shut up. Oh, if I ate pork, I would be such a happy person. This is a 10 pound box of pork ribs and they are $14.99. I don't even know how, I don't even know how to calculate that, how to process that. Alfredo meatballs are $6.49. I'm sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Shrimp, $19.99. Back up to this because buying this stuff like this when you have ham and you do breakfast, these are $9.99, but you get 10 in a pack. Pizza rolls here are $4.48. For eight count, and just the tiny little Annie's are a dollar twenty-nine. 
I am Toast Scramblers. A dollar fifty, but it feels like there's only two in there. Hey guys, every time the cakes are always three ninety nine, unless there's one like substantially smaller, then I make it like two ninety nine. And I'm gonna look a little bit more closely because last time I was watching the video and there was a cheesecake just to the right and I missed it. So I'm gonna look carefully this time. Still bars, oh my goodness, there's so many. And this feels, oh, this looks so good. I need even keto, whatever. $4.99. Look at that, 12 three ounce bars. Frozen food, an average of $1.69. Some at $1.39. Veggie pastas and veggie sides. Um, $1.99. Holy flour rice, stuff like that, $1.29. Rice, $2.49. Organic carrots, $1.29. Huge bag of what looks to be fresh cut off the cob frozen corn, $4.99. Cauliflower blends and broccoli cuts, $1. I like the florets. I don't like a bag full of stems. Check this out. It says battered white cheddar cheese bites. This should look pretty good. They are $9.99. I am back over in this corner where I last saw all the size number 10 cans. Not here, they're gone. You know what? Missed opportunities. Lose some, gain some. They have granola now for $1.50. I'm not a big fan of granola. It hurts my teeth. Sodas are $2.99. I think I'm either. I guess I think that's all I'm going to get. This is my cart for now. They're already at the front checking out. We're going to pass on the tortillas this time. We get them every time we come. These are two for a dollar. And we just freeze them and work our way through them. But between us, I think we're good for now. Standing in line, I realized I was going to come back over and get that last one little bag of sun-dried tomato halves. I like that they have all the seasonings that are out here that look pretty good. Um, are these all still a dollar? Yes, they are. Gosh, they added some. Everything bagel. Let me go through these real quick while I'm just waiting in line. Here's my card. I think I saw that. I went ahead and got 10 detergents and they shared with me these. So I got six packets of these. So they six? Yeah, six. That's three bucks. I'm pretty excited about my cream cheese. My dips. I'm very excited about that for this dollar. Two cases. That's crazy. Should I get three? Nope. I'm going to just stick with two. I'm going to regret it. I'm going to get three. If I don't want it, I'll give it away. Yeah, that's me. This is just frivolous stuff. Well, except for the detergent. Pretty excited about that. So. $2.59, $2.69 for each Nestle Quick bottle. I knew they were high. Ridiculous. Oh, we are parked right here. Okay, so my brother's already unloaded my mom's stuff and his stuff. Are we pretty full in the back? Is she sitting in the back? Okay, I won't show her, but I'll show how we got it packed. Oh. Ain't that bad. We kind of bagged it up in case we had to put stuff like in the backpack. I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're all right. It also helps us keep it separated. So the receipt for mine, everything I purchased came to $62.99 after tax. That's crazy. Tax was $5.20. My brother paid for that for me. I went to go pay for it and his card was already in it. We do that sometimes for each other. I've got a pretty cool family. All right, guys, so this is the Port Payne store. This is the grocery outlet that we hang out and do family time with. So I hope you guys get out and find some amazing deals. If not, I just hope you enjoyed watching the video. Till next time, guys, be happy, be healthy, stay safe.